I've always loved music, but the artist that probably sparked me to be a musician and actually play music and pursue it for a living, I mean, Kurt Cobain, man, you know? I was like 12 years old and that record came out. It was huge for me. I was like the ripe age for Nevermind. And yeah. That record just, just totally was... Picked up a guitar within a week and joined a band and <laughs> been playing in bands ever since, literally, and writing songs ever since, you know? And uh, my mom had a guitar in her closet and I stayed home sick. After I saw Smells Like Teen Spirit, I was sick from school. Started playing, man, right there and then. Yeah, so it was TV. <laughs> I met uh, Mr. Aaron Williams about eight years ago in the dorms through, uh, through some friends. And uh, had uh, the keyboard I'm actually playing with tonight up on stage. And he saw me playing and said, hey, you know, former in a band, you want to be in it? And I said, I do. Well, the, the thing about Columbia which attracted me most to Columbia was it's probably the most reputable and well-known art school in the Midwest. I was dating a girl back in like 1998 who was attending Columbia and uh, I went down there a lot to visit her. I just, got, I just fell in love with the people there and the whole atmosphere and the whole kind of mentality that people were having at Columbia. I just really enjoyed it. The people that I met, the teachers were really cool. Um, so yeah, I just went for it. To me, the, the, um, the core of the Columbia experience is you get you get out how much you put into it. And we would network like crazy when we went out to parties. We would, you know, we might be there having a drink or two, but we'd always be networking. You, know? you can get straight A's and straight B's and still not get a job out of Columbia. Very, very easily. The way that Columbia, and that's what's taught me even past, learning how to network and learning how to use the, the, the students and your teachers on the outside world and I, I, I spend more time doing what I'm doing like playing shows and recording bands and like networking with other people and studying at Columbia and I passed with great grades I mean I mean I got straight B's and A's and a couple C's here and there but it, it wasn't the academic part that was so challenging it was actually meeting people that are going to lift you up other people that are just driven as you are and that's what Columbia has. It has I mean it has a ton of you know, you push and you push, you push, and you meet the right people, and you treat everybody fair, and don't burn any bridges, and you know you can get pretty far and leave. We've, we've done pretty well. Each band, each band for, formation, each gen, you know, each new time has been. We've reached that pinnacle where we're starting to make a thousand bucks a gig. Right now, I am uh, just finished recording a record, and I'm going to spend the next year, two years, uh, promoting and touring for it. Got this record deal about two years ago with a guy down in Nashville. Um, and uh, he uh, heard some stories about me and how uh, I was promoting my music and how I was uh, getting my music out there, and he was really impressed. And uh, I was on a trip in Maui, and he called me like probably a dozen times while I was in Maui, and I didn't have my phone on me, and I come back to like 12 messages from this guy. And uh, he flew me out to Santa Monica, and I played a gig for him, and pretty much signed me on the spot. <laughs>